You're watching Indiana's Business News Leader. Hello and welcome to Inside Indiana Business. I'm Gary Dick. Thanks for joining us this week. Coming up, a name change and business shift for a prominent Indiana lobbying firm. Plus, DePaul University President Dr. Robert Bottoms on international initiatives on the Green Castle campus. And going globetrotting, university president uh, going global in his quest to diversify his student body. Well, DePaul University is continuing to take on a more global focus. Its president working closely with the business sector on a trip to India, which is uh, now paying some big dividends. Here now to discuss the school's international initiatives is DePaul University president, Dr. Robert Bottoms. And Dr. Bottoms, as always, welcome to the program. Well, it's nice to be here. When you were here uh, some months ago, we talked about a trip to India, yes. uh, a partnership with Cummins, uh, Cummins in Columbus. Uh, that is really, uh, as we were talking off camera, paid some big dividends. What has been the out some of the outcomes of that trip? Well, one of the nice things that uh, has happened, we've really begun to develop two programs. We had uh, Anant Talulikar, who is the chairman of Cummins India, on our campus last summer. He met some of the Indian students who were at DePaul. He wanted to know what life in Greencastle is like, what life in Indiana is like. Anant had some understanding of American education because he had been educated at the University of Michigan and at Tulane. But it's the first time he had been on a liberal arts campus like ours, first time he had been on a campus in Indiana. And he was really taken with it. We were very pleased. He liked our technology program. He liked our management center program. Interestingly enough, he liked our school of music because mm. in a serendipitous way his wife is a musician and so he left thinking that yes he would like for some of the children of his employees to come to DePauw. So we've worked out a program between Cummins and between DePauw mm -hmm. where we would take uh, up to 50 international students a year primarily from uh, India uh, to come to DePauw. Uh, Cummins would, if they do well academically mm -hmm. at DePauw after they're graduated, the students would have the opportunity to work for Cummins, either Cummins USA or uh, Cummins India. What um, why do this? Why, why really look at the global marketplace, uh, if you will, for students? Well, this, that sort of leads into the second aspect of our program, uh, because I also interviewed the people who run our management program, our technology program, and has agreed to take uh, 10 to 12 interns to work for Cummins India. So what we're trying to do is establish in our small community an international presence of four-year students from India at DePaul in a regular degree-seeking program. Some of our students going to India every year and create the kind of synergy so that undergraduate students in a liberal arts college really get to know, to understand other cultures, and to uh, gain a certain comfort level for the kind of world they're going to live in. Mm -hmm. And there are actually some of the Indian students who have been here are actually working, I know a couple working in a startup uh, in right. Greencastle as I understand. They've, they've, been, uh, they've been very happy. We'll see over a period of a decade uh, how many of the Indian students would actually like to stay in this country, stay in mm -hmm. Indiana and work because they go through our regular internship programs, and how many students would like to go back home because opportunities are really opening up for them in India. Where would you like to see this, this international initiative, if you will, go uh, at DePaul? Obviously, you've got a strong uh, partnership with Cummins. Where do you see it go going forward? Well, our goal over a four-year period of time is to be able to recruit 50 international students a year as regular students at DePaul, not mm -hmm. simply exchange students, but four-year degree-seeking students. That would give us a core, critical mass, if you please, of 200 students in a student body of 2,300 with some of our students, more of our students studying off campus. We have a goal of 75 percent of our students studying overseas. Uh, it would give a flavor to the liberal arts atmosphere of really gaining a global understanding and being able to interact with people. And as you know, you don't have to go overseas to interact with people from different cultures. So we think it'll be a way to better equip our traditionally trained students to live in the world where they will work. And, and obviously the student body uh, at DePaul, in part because of this, I think is really uh, diversifying, becoming more diverse. Yes, we are 17%, uh, uh, the minority population, multicultural population at DePaul is 17% now. That's the highest it's been in our history, and if we're successful in this initiative, we'll be well up over 20%. Very good. We think that'll benefit not just the international students, but the students from Martinsville and Indianapolis, right. and uh, there's a lot of evidence for that. Very good. Dr. Robert Bottoms, thanks as always, Thank and you, we'll Gary. talk to you soon. Well, still to come, a theater 
in transition. We'll tell you how a new managing director plans to uh, put his stamp on the Indiana Repertory Theater.